Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna do something that is a little bit different, quite exciting. It's definitely coming into a trend right now. What it is, is, is trying to protect your asset, especially for if you have a lot of equipment um, for construction. I, I do a lot of real estate development, construction, etc. I have a lot of equipment and this is to protect your asset in a very cheap way is to buy a bunch of air tags, Apple air tags, and hiding them um, somewhere within your asset, whether it's a trailer, uh, skid steer, tractor, um, boom lift, whatever. Okay, so you can hide this little thing somewhere in your equipment and you only need to change your battery probably about a year, year and a half at a time. And, um, and you, you're, you're gonna be able to locate your air tag um, if the equipment is stolen. So that's what this video is about. Um, hopefully um, this will be interesting. Um, before we go on, um, if you are not a subscriber, please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the uh, like button at the end of the video or right now if you are thinking that uh, this is a, a good topic that you are interested in. Let's go. So first, before we get started, I am going to go through the list of parts. Um, so here I have a spray can. This is a black spray can. Always have those around. Uh, they're like a dollar, I think, uh, from Home Depot. So make sure you have those around all the time. And then I have another one that is white. Uh, very useful. I have a bag of tie wrap from Harbor Freight, or you can buy it from Amazon, whatever. I have super glue, JB Weld, and I have an Amazon Prime envelope um, to uh, protect um, my AirPod or Air, I'm sorry, not AirPod, AirTags. And we are going to use the Altoid um, metal container uh, to hide our uh, AirTag inside of it and then use the Amazon Prime bag uh, to cushion it so that it doesn't bounce around. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go out to the trailer. We're hiding this in a 16 foot trailer and the word hide is really important. So we're gonna pick a location first before we get started. So let's go. This is my uh, 16 foot trailer. It is currently hitched and um, I've already walked around a few times trying to find the best location to hide this Altoid mellow box. And I contemplated the usual spot that is a lot of, there's a lot of hiding area here by the tongue of the trailer, but I decided not to do it there because that's the obvious place that people will be placing uh, or hiding something like this. I also considered somewhere in the wheel well, but then I don't have any way to secure it. Uh, there's no hole. I don't want to drill a new hole. So I decided that the best place is going to be right here. I'm going to face the opening towards the back and the top of it facing upwards like that. So we are going to glue it and paint it black. And I can also tie wrap it across here. So once we tie wrap it and glue it with JB Weld and paint it black, you are not gonna be able to see this can well the, the Altoid box here at all it will be quite invisible you'll be able to see the tie wrap here on the top but it'll just look like maybe a couple of tie wrap i may just duplicate another tie wrap there just to make it look even so that people don't get suspicious but yep yeah, so this is going to be our location and uh, we i decided to uh, look for a location first because once i mix the jb weld I really want to have everything prepared, this area cleaned, everything, um, put the uh, air tags in there and then just glue it, tie wrap it, paint it and be done with it. All right, so let's get going. Okay, before you start working on the uh, air tag, make sure that you already um, associate this air tag to your phone um, and remove the, obviously you're going to have to remove that tab that, that separates the battery and turn it on. Uh, make sure that you don't forget to do that. Otherwise, then you're going to regret it. Obviously, you're going to put it inside this envelope, put it inside here, and glue it, etc. And you're going to be like, wow, I did all that for nothing. Or I'm going to have to reopen it again, etc. So make sure you associate it, program it first to your phone. Next, 
I'm not going to be using super glue. You can. That's just to close uh, the, the top of this, uh, super glue it to make sure that it doesn't pop out. But I'm going to use JB Weld for everything, so I'm not going to be using super glue. All right, so next thing we're going to do is um, um, cut a piece of the Amazon Prime so that we can stick it into the Altoid box. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put this in here and start rolling it. And I'm gonna stick it in here just for a test fit first. Okay, I need probably about another few inches just to make it tight. And I am going to put that there to pat it on the bottom and i'm gonna cut a little bit more to pat it on the other side at the bottom there you go and we're ready to stick it in there okay and there's still some padding uh, space there so i'm gonna just cut some more roll things up Put it in there. Still a little bit more. Cut a little bit more. Stuff a little bit more in there. Golly, there's still, can do still a little bit more. So cut just a little bit tiny more. And put it in there. All right, so finally this is tight. Do a test fit. You should not hear any rattling at all. So everything is well padded and that's good. All right, so we're ready to now mix the JB Weld and clean the area in the trailer that we're gonna be attaching to make sure that the JB Weld can actually uh, attach to the trailer really well instead of uh, attaching to dust. Okay, so we are going to mix the black and the white part of the JB well make sure that you give yourself a good amount so that generous enough for you to not just to uh, enough to glue the top of the Altoid can but also to to glue the uh, the can to um, to the trailer obviously so that should be enough there to keep it secure and let's go to the trailer and make sure you bring your tie wrap, your JB weld, your Altoid can, some napkin also I forgot we need to have some napkins so that we can clean that area and um, let's get it done outside. Okay I got a piece of napkin that is wet and I'm just going to clean the area first that I'm going to be sticking the uh, Altoid box to. This is just to make it better for it to stick. All right, and then uh, try to dry it with the dry side. Okay, next we are going to apply as much um, of the JB Weld to the Altoid box. Make sure that you orient it correctly so I'm putting it on like this at this orientation so that means I'm going to be putting glue on this side and at the bottom right here at this side so this side and this side no I'm sorry <laughs> see I almost made a mistake I'm gonna put the glue on this side and this side right here because that's gonna be sticking up right there okay so I got the glue on the Altoid box on that side and this side and all we have to do is just put it in there uh, stick it and then the, we'll put the tie wrap on it. Yeah, I got it in there. Now we're just gonna put the tie wrap on. All right, so I got the, uh, the Altoid box on there. Make sure you press it on both sides. Make sure that uh, the glue is sticking. And I'm going to cut this and we're gonna spray paint it. 
I'm making very good use of my Amazon envelope. Right now I'm using it to also cover up my trailer light so it doesn't get sprayed. I'm going to spray a little bit on the top also to assimilate the color. This is black matte, which is the same paint as most trailer. So that's it. Let that go. You see at a glance, you're not going to be able to just see that. Um, so hopefully people don't get suspicious. The first place that people are going to look at is going to be at the tongue area anyway. So I doubt they're going to be looking at here. But the point is, most people may not be even be looking for something when they stole a trailer. You're gonna have time for a few hours to notice where this trailer is going or where it's located. You're gonna have at the most, I would say 24 to 48 hours. You have to locate your trailer or whatever is stolen, recover it or call law enforcement um, and recover it. You may, want, you may not want to recover yourself. Obviously that's too dangerous and um, yeah, so you, this is a, a very cheap protection. If you want to buy an AirTag, uh, please use the link in my description or in the comment and support my channel. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more useful content like this. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.